When was the last time I felt like I belonged anywhere? I really belonged. Maybe this is who I am. Maybe I finally found a reason to live in a place surrounded by death. My name is Benjamin Wadsworth. I play Marcus Lopez Arguello. Deadly Class is about a, a school of assassins who find this kid, Marcus Lopez, and they, they bring him in. They show him this crazy life in this school in 1987. Welcome to King's Dominion. He's kind of like a rabid dog. He has a lot of love, but he also has a lot of like hate in his heart. He'll bite you if you get too close sometimes. Tell me his weaknesses. He's a liar, a liability with the cops, and a coward. Help me, somebody help! His ah! greatest weakness. His need for friends and family. Things always work out. Vietnam, cancer kids, Sonny and Cher, and weren't you homeless? Yeah, it's just something my dad used to say. It's not a 100%, I guess. It's probably closer to 10%. Benjamin has a, a fantastic, instinctive, factual world that Marcus occupies. Benjamin's character is really the only character who tells the truth and tells everybody how he feels throughout the entire series. All the other characters are fronting either as a show of strength for their gang members or for their friends or for their families who have high expectations. But Benjamin's character, Marcus, is the only one who has really nothing to lose. See, at King's Dominion, we all bite. Well, at King's Dominion, to survive, you need alliances. Not necessarily friendship. True, alliances. But what's cool and unique about William and Marcus is they found friendship through their necessity for alliance building. And in this situation, we find them pushing each other to experience things that are outside of the school and try to find joy. Look, I'm new to this stuff, so I was just wondering where I should start. Maybe Superman? Superman's a punk. Is he? Why'd you do that? Some girl comes and starts hitting on you and you bite her head off? Wait, that wasn't that. You think? She... Shit. Marcus is a uh, victim of Ronald Reagan in a number of ways. His father is a, a Nicaraguan who had to flee during the Contra Sandinista conflict. <sighs> so you want to snuff Reagan? He killed my parents. Changing the world is hippie bullshit. The best you can do is navigate it. People like Reagan never see the guillotine anymore. So what, you just give up? What I know of Marcus is he's a righteous young man. And what I think he wants is fairness. And he wants vengeance. My character sees something in Marcus, maybe a bit of himself as a younger, more idealistic person. But I like him, and I advise him and I give him some real inside information because I want him to stay alive. It's gonna get worse, not better. Keep your head down, pick your battles, save your time for maximum destruction. Play ball at Kings until you learn what you need and then get the fuck out. Deadly Class is about the human experience that we all go through in high school. Check something's up, I think Jurgen's gonna... Who are you touching, Brett? What happens when you like a boy or a girl? What happens when you're rejected? What happens when you have a friendship? The person who you think is your best friend betrays you. Marcus and Willie, Maria and Saya, they're strong bonds of friendship that we've all had at that age. Love and hate, the connection to those friends at that age can, can be so important because what you're dealing with in life is, is an ever-changing kaleidoscope of events and new experiences. Okay, that was pretty fucking cool. Here you are! But at the end of the day, it just takes you back to that time when you were a kid and you didn't even know who you were. What about you, boys? Who do you hate? Bullies. People like you. My favorite thing about playing Marcus is he's he's afraid of the truth, but he's more afraid of falsehoods, so it's, it's better and easier to tell the truth. It's not easier, but it's better. But you're right to be angry. Nothing to be done about it. Not by yourself. I thought you were sitting on the sidelines. Yeah, I was picking my battles. There's no point in having friends if you're not gonna stick up for them. Let's burn them down. Hating what's wrong is easy. Yeah, I'm gonna do something about it.